Well, it is officially the last day of Tennessee deer season. Sunday, January 7th, 2018. We've still got five days after today where we could kill uh, does on private land in Unit L, which I'm hunting all Unit L. So if I get the time off work, I might head to private land this week one day, but uh, I don't know if I'll have the time off work. So this may well be my last deer hunt until next season. So uh, I'm hunting this uh, new spot. I've scouted or turkey hunted in here before, but I've never deer hunted in here. And I'm on the side of a creek here and uh, it looks great. The only thing is it's a little thick. I'm gonna have to sneak a shot through a little pocket if I do see any deer. So uh, we're, we're done hunting this evening. I accidentally filled my last buck tag if you saw my last video. So uh, I'll have to be extra careful, make sure it's a doe if I shoot one today. Uh, I've got a buddy hunting the uh, ag fields back towards the truck, but uh, he'll be watching the uh, cut bean fields with his 30 6 and I've got my 308 in the woods here. So we're gonna sit back and enjoy uh, enjoy this last afternoon in the tree stand.
<laughs> there goes that one. Oh, the video isn't worth much because it's so thick here and it's getting dark. I believe I dropped that one though. I heard her ball. I hate that sound, but I think that means I dropped her in the tracks. The sound came from where she was standing. Two deer ran away and the one came right at me and stopped. And then it jumped in the creek and ran off. I want to go make sure that deer's dead because just because of the sound it made, I need to pack up as quick as possible and get climbed down and go get her. She's just out here somewhere. Uh, that ball she made was the last sound I heard coming from over, over here, so I believe she should be. Man, here she I don't really have a point of reference where she was standing, I just know she was over here somewhere. Yeah, find out now. There she is. Perfect. Oh, she needs to be finished off. I'm surprised. I see where the exit hole is. I'm surprised she didn't bleed out. This should be a long shot. Well, I'm gonna cut the camera off and make sure she's finished off. Well, that is my last deer of the season. She's a big one. Good size though. I had to finish her off. Uh, I don't know why. This is the exit. It's high, but it, it should be in lungs. I haven't looked at the entrance yet. I haven't found it. But uh, that's weird. Uh, well, I'll figure it out then. Uh, Andy's uh, back in the field coming my way. We left the deer cart out in one of the field edges, so we're gonna. It'll be easier getting this deer out, and then. Uh, and we'll go get her home and get her butchered up, and that's uh, the last fresh venison of the of the season. Now it's time to make a bunch of jerky over the next week or two. Well, I'm here at the uh, editing room getting ready to put all the video together and whatnot, but uh, that was a great way to end the season. It actually went better than I thought. I saw all kinds of critters, uh, saw some cool stuff, saw several deer, and uh, got to shoot a real nice doe. Uh, I heard those deer coming in from the woods on uh, off to the left there where they came out of into that grown up field but uh, they started I heard them walking around right when those birds uh, turkey started flying up to roost so I don't know if that picked up on the camera or not but uh, they took them a while to work out and, and I couldn't see them for a minute because of how much uh, tree limbs were in the way but I was able to sneak a shot through at that doe uh, the weirdest thing about that deer uh, I've never seen this on a deer before but I shot her high shoulder uh, the, the bullet expanded, did its job, tore up the spine. There was chunks of bone from the shoulder blades and the spine, and the top end of the lungs were, were jellied uh, with bits of bone fragment and everything. But she was still alive. Like you saw, I had, to, I had to turn the camera off and put her out. When I went to gut her and get the lungs and heart out, the lungs wouldn't fall out like they usually do. They had like a layer of silver skin over them or something and were actually attached to the rib cage in several places where I had to cut them away from the rib cage in a few spots which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen and because of that her lungs didn't collapse and she was still breathing which makes me wonder how far she would have gone if it was a normal double lung shot so if any of y'all have ever seen that on a deer let me know because that's a first for me and I don't mean that's one of those super deer that's the kind of deer maybe you hear about getting the perfect shot and never gets found anyways I uh, just had to follow up and uh, say thanks for watching my season if you followed the season or just watch this video I don't care I appreciate uh, y'all coming here and leaving comments and everything so uh, that is a wrap for the 2017 deer season uh, I'll do a little small game hunt between now and then and, uh, start doing some work on my boat getting ready for catfishing and of course uh, I got turkey season to look forward to so uh, stick around I'm gonna try to get some uh, a little more deer related videos out maybe on butchering and cooking and stuff like that because I need to uh, I like to get some uh, some more kind of instructional stuff out if, if you all want to see that but uh, thanks again for watching I'll let you go and uh, stay tuned for next time